In this video, I'm going to explain how to animate a flame in five minutes in Moho. First thing you need to do is import some images and you can go to your layers panel and then click on image. Then you can import your PSD file and this is the PSD file and I choose individually because then it will make separate files of your PSD layers. The PSD is built up from the glow that's on the top layer, the flame and the background. And we're only going to animate the flame and uh, later on a little bit of the glow. So the first thing you need to do is to create a bone layer. And I'm just going to go on top of the flame layer and then select a bone layer and you can do that by pressing on the plus sign then select bone and the bone layer needs to be connected with your PNG so you have to drag it onto your bone layer and now you can create a bone or I'm just using two bones and you have to click on the add bone feature or press a on your keyboard and I'm going to select a bone here and just click on it and click on the top of the flame and on the base of the flame. What you also can check out is the bone strength and you can find that by pressing on this icon or press S on your keyboard. And I'm just going to adjust it and you have to drag it because the base is going to be need a little bit more strength than the top. And now you're set to go and animate your flame. So in order to animate the flame, you need to go to frame one, because everything in Moho or Anime Studio will start at frame one. And here we're just going to select, here are the bone tools and th there you can animate with and I'm just going to select manipulate bones or just press a Z on your keyboard. And this is going to be the first keyframe and it's going to be a loop. So I'm going to uh, copy this. So command C and the animation is going to be four seconds long. So I'm going to go to 19 six frames and press command V and in the middle, I'm just going to drag down the flame. And this is going to be the basic animation. And I'm just going to tweak it at 24 frames, which is going a little bit left. And on 72 frames at three seconds, I'm just going to do it a little bit to the right. And this is just going to be the animation and ju you just need to keep it very simple because flames, you know, aren't really uh, fast going animations. And this is the animation and I'm going to make a loop out of it. And you have to select the last keyframe, which is at 96 frames, right click on it and then choose cycle. And then your animation will cycle from frame 96. And you can see it in this box as well. It's an absolute cycle back to the exact frame one. And this is go just going to be an animation that will loop throughout the entire timeline of your project. What we're now going to do is animate the glow. And the glow is just uh, a PNG of a, a transparency. And you can do that. You first need to go to frame one again, double click on your layer, and then you get this uh, layer settings menu. And you have to select allow animated layer effects. And also I have chosen the blending mode screen. And when you use screen, it will blend better with the background. Frame one is going to be on 100%. So click apply and we're going to frame 48, double click on it again. And this I'm going to set to 75% because the flame is coming down. Here's the timeline for your layer opacity. 
and I'm going to copy this frame, frame 1, and paste it to frame 96. And you can also make a loop out of this by selecting your keyframe, right click on it, and then choose cycle. And now you've made an animation of a flame, which will play throughout your entire timeline. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and Periscope. You can buy my stuff on Vimeo On Demand, Etsy, iBooks and Redbubble. Subscribe to my newsletter and get free stuff. You can find the links in the description box down below.